Hey guys, this is John from Infinite Remote Control, and today I'll be unboxing the Protec RC Super Pro 1000 power supply. So, I'm getting right into it. Unboxing it. We have the power cable right there on the top. A bunch of foam, and then right here is the power supply. Let me get the box out of the way. Only thing that is in the box is a manual and some more foam. So, setting that stuff aside, manual, and that aside, let's get right into the good stuff, the actual power supply. Now, I've only started researching chargers for about the last month or so, and the only charger that I've had so far would be the Passport, um, uh, the Dynamite Passport charger. But I decided that uh, I've already got a ton of batteries and I need something that will really help me. So this is the Protec RC 1000 watt power supply. And I'll show that to you just like that. What this has is it's got a here, yeah, let me read right off. It has got the one 37 amp output, which would be that, and there would have four 16 amp outputs, and each of those you can turn it on and off, just like that. Then there's your amp adjustment, voltage adjustment, and on and off for this. It's got a um, display on it, and that's pretty much only going to show you what... Um, you're setting it to in terms of volts and amps for the outputs per port. It's got a USB that will put out um, 0.5 amps if you have a smartphone with you. And then in the back, there's a fuse so you can replace that. And it's got a huge fan on it. So it's a thousand watts. It should work great. It, um, its output is 12 to 30 volts. Um, and the current is 25 amps at 30 volts and um, 37 amps at 12 volts for the main output. So um, this is going to be going along with my Prodigy 620 charger that I'll be showing you guys. And um, there you go. I'll do a review over it just to tell you if it works or not and um, if it's actually supplying the 1,000 watts that it's supposed to. So um, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned because I'll be doing a ton of um, how-to videos in terms of chargers when I get more and more familiar with them.